This video is an overview of uh, using uh, Microsoft Excel 2010 to create an equipment database. Uh, there's a series of videos about doing this, and this is just a kind of a broad uh, explanation of what it is that we're doing. So, why would we use Excel for a database? Well, there are several reasons that make Excel useful for doing database work. Uh, a lot of people are very familiar with it. Um, they, almost everybody who works in an office knows how to use Excel, not necessarily for the database functions, but they're very familiar with the product. On the other hand, with uh, almost any type of relational database that you might use, um, it requires some specific training or experience in using that, and most people in the office are, are not familiar with that. Um, Excel can be easily set up or modified by the user. That is, if a spreadsheet is set up and the uh, user has to make some kind of changes to it, they, they know how to do that in Excel. Whereas, if you needed to change your database, you would usually require some sort of uh, IT help in order to do that. Uh, Excel is good for a small project because it takes can be set up very quickly without a whole lot of help. It doesn't require planning, that kind of a thing. So for a small project where there's not a whole lot being done, um, it's worthwhile. Whereas a database, just a small project, just may not justify the time that it takes to set it up. Excel has a visual orientation. People are accustomed to that spreadsheet format, and uh, they can see things immediately. And uh, so it's helpful uh, for visual people. And uh, the relation, relational database may have a visual interface, but um, often more complicated uh, for people to use. One of the reasons to not use uh, Excel for a database? Well, not self-documenting. It can be extremely confusing to figure out what's going on uh, when Excel is used as a database, um, what cell is where, uh, a lot of stuff like that. Um, challenging that way. Relational database, on the other hand, in the structure that's set up, there's a form of documentation there, so you can look at the tables and things, and, and they, they self-document. While there is data checking available in Excel, it's, it's not very robust um, as compared to a, a database. And uh, there's extensive data checking possibilities to avoid getting uh, bad stuff put in there. According from Excel, not that easy to do. Uh, it has good features, but reporting isn't really one of them, whereas relational databases are, are built for reports. Um, multiple users using um, an Excel database at the same time, uh, it can be done, but um, it's limited, whereas uh, databases are very much relational databases, very much designed for uh, multi-user access. And finally, because it's so easy to change, unless sheets are really carefully protected, um, it's easily corrupted. And uh, on the other hand, uh, relational database has many more protections against being corrupted by the users. So the way uh, the sample uh, database um, that we're uh, presenting here is being done is uh, we're doing a equipment with parts. In this case, we're going to be using uh, light fixtures in buildings and lamps that are in the light fixtures and using that as a demonstration. So we start out with a, uh, a parts table. This would be a separate file, and it's basically a list of, in this case, we'll be listing lamps. And then we will have uh, a local copy for an individual instance that we're working on for this, uh, which would basically be a copy of that parts table for use within the uh, individual uh, workbook that we're going to be using for doing this project. So basically, the parts table is copied over, synchronized uh, with the uh, local copy. So there's a link between the two, so the local copy is updated by the parts table. Then we'll have a uh, schedule of types uh, referring to that parts table. So we'll have certain types of things that have different parts in them. And so these types have quantities and numbers of parts, and that can be referred to. In this case, it would be a fixture schedule, uh, which lists all different types of fixtures in a building, uh, what lamps they have, how many lamps they have in them. That would get the information 
from the uh, in terms of setting up that schedule that would come data validation and everything would come from that uh, local copy of the parts table uh, we would have a uh, you know in this case a list of rooms or buildings and it would refer to the schedule or, or the types this is kind of a standard layout for databases in terms of having these types and then instances of and then uh, tables that everything refers to so the list of uh, rooms and buildings, room by room, what fixtures and everything would refer to that um, schedule of types. That's where all the information would come from. Um, so that would come into the list of rooms and buildings. And then finally, the uh, information from that list uh, would go back and put information back in that parts table local copy and that would be the form of reporting that we would use. Now the parts table is an independent file but the uh, other three things that we're looking at uh, all constitute worksheets within a uh, workbook and so for if you were going to be doing lighting for a building you have an individual workbook for each building. So we would uh, can see that in the sense of uh, we have a workbook, say, for building A, and then we have a workbook for building at B, and the parts table would be accessed by both of them. So parts table is shared by multiple workbooks, all accessing that uh, parts table. So if somebody keeps that table up to date, then uh, that information will be updated in all the workbooks that refer to it. And so uh, that's uh, basically the way that it works. This particular presentation we'll have several parts. First part will create that first table, that list of lamps. Second part, a linked worksheet that refers to it and um, is linked to it. Then we'll have the uh, creating the equipment types table, a little more complicated, and uh, creating the locations table. So those three tables in that workbook. We'll do some reporting so that we can summarize uh, what we have in that locations table. We'll go over some uh, basic error checking, and then finally uh, saving and using this uh, as a template. So that's uh, the extent of what we'll be doing in these files. Uh, for further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.